you see the pictures on my Facebook page where we have documented where the Guatemalans continue to invade Belize, whether it's their military or their civilians, they are in our waters and we continue to show, show signs of weakness. I mean, it's, it, it's unfortunate that they have to get down to military, um, to military actions, but that's what it's coming down to. And if we continue to sh show weakness, they will continue to penetrate. Yesterday, that incident was way inside Belize's territory. So, I mean, come on, Belizeans, we have to stand up and send a message to the government. The Guatemalans was clearly inside Belize's territory. And that's nothing new. And it wasn't just civilians, it was the Guatemalan military that was inside Belize's territory. And it has happened before. The other day when they um, kidnapped the, the 37 or 40 Belizeans, the, the Belizeans didn't go into Guatemala when they kidnapped them. They came and took them from the Belize side. And that's clearly documented that the Guatemalan boat came on the Belize side and towed our boat into their um, waters. Sir, so um, what in your experience or in your opinion um, would see this desist from happening? Well, I think that um, first of all, like any, but like any good neighbor, we got to delineate our borderline. We have to show the people where it's at. When the British were here, we never had that kind of incursions. Up until the late 80s, we didn't have these kinds of incursions. It was when we begin to neglect our borders, when we begin to bring the BDF from where they're supposed to be at the borderline and put them on the streets of Belize City, that was when the incursions start taking place. All this time from 1859 until the 1990s, the borderline was well maintained. It was after 1994 when the BDF neglected our borders and the corn mark markers and all those were neglected. The Guatemalans um, keep coming in and they, they continue to do so today. As we speak, they're uh, 